When it comes to certifications, which one should you go for in 2024 to become a SOC analyst? I am sure for those trying to enter this field, this is one of the questions that you might be asking. Let's talk about it. It seems that every vendor in the world has a SOC related certificate now. So it could become quite overwhelming and frustrating at times to research which one is the better one to take. I'll recommend some certifications, but that does not mean the other ones are not worthy of getting. What I want you to take out of this video is that simply obtaining a certification doesn't mean you will land a role in cybersecurity. So focus on learning the skills and knowledge to help you apply these concepts in real world scenarios. Now you might ask, did you even take these certificates? If not, how dare you recommend them if you haven't taken it? And those are valid pointers because in all honesty, I haven't taken most of these certifications. I am basing these off of the content that they provide. And that is what I want you to do in the future as well. Sure, try and strive for one recognized certification within the industry. But after that, focus on the content itself rather than the certificate. If I were to start all over again, these are the three certifications that I would take to land my first role as a SOC analyst. Let's start with the first certification, which is CompTIA Security Plus. I recommend people to get the Security Plus if they want to become a SOC analyst, as this will be the one recognized certification to have before looking to job hunt. Whether you like it or not, the reality is that if you do not know someone in the field, you will need to focus on things that will help you stand out compared to the rest. And by obtaining your Security Plus, you will be one step ahead of the competition compared to those that don't have it. Security Plus will help you reinforce the fundamentals that you have hopefully learned in school or from further education. Now, if you have never taken prior related education and jumped straight into Security Plus, it's still possible to pass, but it can be pretty overwhelming very quickly. Take your time to go through it and really do try and learn it. The second certification I would aim for is either the Certified Defensive Security Analyst from Hack the Box or Certified Cyber Defender from Cyber Defenders. CDSA offers a ton of topics that really narrows down into what a SOC analyst is expected to do. From security monitoring to log analysis, this is what a typical day-to-day -day for a SOC analyst would do in a real environment. Whereas CCD offers pretty much the same content, and the main reason why CDSA is on top for me is because of the price tag. CDSA is cheaper compared to CCD. Now, will these certificates have any weight to it when it comes to job hunting? Likely not. But the skills I obtained from these certificates based on the content it provides will help me in the SOC. The third will be Microsoft Security Operations Analyst. The reason behind taking this one is because many SOCs will have a cloud component tied to it. Either they are using Azure Sentinel as a SIM to query events, or maybe a client may have cloud-related products being ingested into their SIM. I am positive you will see cloud-related events in the SOC, if not now, very soon. Certifying in a Microsoft course will be attractive to employers due to the rise of the cloud, especially with Azure, as majority of the organizations are using Microsoft. This certificate will force me to learn what Microsoft products have to offer, and it will allow me to obtain hands-on skills by working with said products. Those are the three certifications I would take, and I'll recap why. CompTIA Security Plus will be the certification I receive simply to show initiative and allow recruiters to see a certification that they recognize. Next, I will either go for CDSA or CCD, depending on which one is cheaper, as you cannot go wrong with either or. And this will teach me the skills required to become a SOC analyst. This will help me build the confidence in talking about it during an interview and allow me to add relevant skills onto my resume that is related to a SOC analyst position. The last certification I will get is the Microsoft Security Operations Analyst, as this will expose me to Microsoft's cloud security products to allow me to learn more about it as SOCs will eventually have cloud-related events. Again, if not now, very soon. And this will make me a well-rounded SOC analyst. There are other certifications out there, and even if it's not something that I personally would take, it doesn't mean it's useless. For example, Cisco's CyberOps Associate. 
From what I've read, it appears to be a pretty good certificate when it comes to its content. It goes over similar content covered in Security Plus, but I chose to go for Security Plus due to it being more popular. I would say if you want to take the certificate, go for it. As it is true that learning the same or similar content from a different teacher always has its benefits. And you might even learn something new. These are just my opinions and recommendations on what I personally would go after if I were to start all over again. And remember, go for at least one reputable certificate, such as CompTIA Security Plus. And afterwards, don't focus on the best certificate to get, but instead, focus on the content itself that will help you obtain the skills required as a SOC analyst. Don't chase certificates, chase skills and knowledge. That is it for the video, and I hope you found it informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.